Winsound today. Hey, what's up guys? This is Chris at Winsound.com. This video will be giving you a quick rundown on how to use the polyphonic mode from the Flutz Time tool in Logic Studio 9. This is a great way to time stretch any complex material such as guitar or piano chords. This won't affect your pitch at all. And remember, you can always get in contact with me with any questions, comments, or ideas. Chris at Winsound.com. First thing that you need to do is open up Flutz Time. You do this by selecting the Flutz icon at the top of your screen. You notice that this off button has appeared on all of your regions. This is because by default, Flutz Time does not open up using any of its specific modes. So, on the specific region that, you, that you're going to be working within, you're going to want to select that off button. And then scroll down to Polyphonic, select that. You are now working within the Polyphonic mode. It's recommended that you use Polyphonic mode with instruments with more complex chord structures, such as a guitar or a piano or any other instrument of that nature. And basically the idea of why you would want to use polyphonic mode is this mode enables you to stretch the audio without affecting its pitch. You'll notice there's always new thin white lines at the top of all the beats within the region. These are called transient markers. Where there's also this other marker on your region it's a bit darker and it has an orange tip at the top of it. This is called the Flutz marker. This is where you're actually going to be able to stretch the audio by simply clicking on it and dragging. That is how you stretch the audio. To create your own Flutz markers, it's really simple. Simply click within the region. If you click on the top half of the region, it's just going to create one Flutz marker exactly where you click, whereas if you click at the bottom half of the region, it's going to create three flutz markers, one exactly where you click, and the other two on its surrounding transient markers. Alright, now I'm just going to give you a quick example on how you would use, on how you would use this, how it sounds, by affecting its audio. Gonna play this quick guitar part. Okay, so I just want to stretch this chord right here. So I'm simply going to click on that flutz marker and just drag like so. Now let's hear how this sounds. As you can see, the audio has been stretched, the pitch remains the same. It's really just that simple. And just to touch base on one more aspect, you'll notice how as I move this flutz marker, this audio waveform has become orange, and this one has become green. The orange means that any audio that turns orange means that that audio has been expanded. Whereas any audio that becomes green, that means that that specific part of that audio has become compressed. You'll notice, depending on which way you drag it, it it will be affected in the proper manner just to give you just to show you what is happening in a more visual sense check out wingson on the itunes store to subscribe to the podcast listen to some music and download the free iphone app that will keep you up to date with all of the latest releases from wingson studios just search for wingson at the itunes store